If you look live at the control tower there at McCarran right now, but they've already been having a lot of issues at McCarran over the weekend. Southwest Airlines canceled more than 1,800 flights at airports nationwide, and those problems are expected to stretch into this week. Southwest is uh, struggling to get its operations back to normal today, and more flight cancellations hit McCarran this afternoon. Now, there are different explanations of why this is all happening. Hector Mejia is tracking all of that for us this afternoon. He's live at McCarran with the latest. Hector? Well, it's already supposed to be a busy travel day with today being a federal holiday here at McCarran. 34 Southwest flights canceled for today, and that's part of 300 other flights canceled across the country by the airline. That's according to Flight Aware, an aviation tracking website. On Sunday alone, Southwest Airlines canceled more than 1,000 U.S. flights. That's almost 30% of the airline's scheduled flights. Southwest initially blamed air traffic control issues, then severe weather. However, other airlines did not cancel nearly as many flights. Marlene Northup is traveling to the Phoenix area. We had gone to Reno Tahoe for a family wedding. We were supposed to fly out Sunday morning, and when we got to the airport, the flight was canceled. We're looking forward to being home and uh, putting this all behind us and getting on with our lives. The Southwest Airlines Pilot Association blamed poor planning by Southwest. There's talk about staff shortages. In a statement, it said in part, quote, our pilots are not participating in any official or unofficial job actions. Matthew Atha is not a Southwest passenger, but had to deal with the ripple effects. He could not find a flight to Phoenix, so he spent 15 hours at McCarran Airport until a rental car became available. Feels like I'm homeless, almost, in a sense. I don't have a, I don't have a car. I don't have a, you know, a place to stay. I don't have my, my own bed. I slept on the floor upstairs for about four hours. So Southwest encourages its passengers to try the self-service rebooking option on its website. I reached out to the airline today for a new statement. We'll let you know as soon as we get one. Reporting from McCarran Airport, Hector Mejia, live, local, now.